Hello friends, Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And uh, I'm super excited today because I get to shoot a video on uh, one of our newest arrivals, a brand new product for us that we just acquired. And um, we just had them land yesterday. So you're seeing this product. This is the KZ uh, RV. That's the manufacturer, Escape. And that's the brand. Uh, the floor plan on this particular trailer is a 191 BHK and uh, there is so much to talk about uh, on this particular trailer folks but I'm going to give you a little backstory first. So um, I started going down the path of looking to fill a, a, a hole that I felt we had in our inventory lineup uh, here at our dealership in Leduc. Um, you know, we've built this dealership around being an exclusive Grand Design dealer and it's been absolutely fantastic. We love Grand Design and everything that they do. Um, unfortunately, they just don't produce a product um, that's, that fits really for vehicles that are, have a tow capacity of 5,000 pounds. I wasn't really interested in carrying a product and looking for something that minivans could pull just because I feel like a lot of those products aren't necessarily built the best. And so this started last summer um, where I started to do a lot of research and I, I really wanted to, to, to bring to the market or to our dealership here a product that built by a manufacturer that had a great reputation, has a great reputation, um, that's known for building quality product. I wanted a product that really fit well, that had a great look, uh, great feature content, um, but specifically um, also that was rated to be pulled by vehicles with a 5,000 pound towing capacity. And again, unfortunately, Grand Design just is not there yet. I hope one day that they are. But right now, um, I'm happy to announce, excited to announce the arrival of the KZ Escape product here at Woody's RV World, Leduc. We are the exclusive dealer uh, for this particular product in the uh, Northern Alberta market. And um, we've got a ton of floor plans coming, um, right from couples coaches, uh, all the way, you know, with bunk models. We've got some hybrids coming with the tent ends. And so the weight capacities, dry weight capacities of this particular product, folks, are in that, you know, 2,800 pounds dry. Um, you know, once they start adding the equipment on and, and options and those sorts of things, 3,000 pounds up to 4,000 pounds dry weight capacity. So again, I knew I wanted a conventional built trailer. I wasn't really interested in the teardrop styles. Um, this particular uh, product, folks, is seven and a half feet wide versus what you would get in a, in a conventional built product in terms of width in eight feet wide. So they do save some weight uh, there as well. But again, folks, this, this product is solid, solid, solid uh, with the KZ Escape. So the 191 BHK, uh, this particular model from hitch to rear wall measures out at 22 feet, one inch in length. Again, like I mentioned, it's seven and a half feet wide on the main body width. So if you've got a narrower driveway, you know that extra six inches can help. Uh, if you've got a short enough driveway, you know a lot of driveways today are 22, 23, 24 feet in length. And this particular trailer, you could very easily park it uh, on your driveway quite nicely. Um, the other really nice thing, folks, is this particular model, they build a few of them, the, the, the slide depths are a little different on them. So this particular model has the deepest slide that they build, uh, which is fantastic. And what's nice about this, this product folks, KZ, like Grand Design, does not use cable slides um, at whatsoever. This is a rack and pinion gear driven slide. It's an above floor slide. So all of your motor, your mechanisms are inside the trailer, underneath the dinette, super easy to access if you have a motor failure. Uh, and that sort of thing and again that slide out really adds a lot of a lot of uh, space on the inside without adding a, a ton of weight as well so um, a little bit about the construction folks uh, from the floor up you've got a uh, 5 8 tongue and groove um, plywood um, and then you've got your subfloor as well with that bat insulation in but uh, between and then they run that Darko fabric underneath the floor uh, just to prevent moisture from getting up inside and that sort of thing. So uh, super solid floor with that tongue and groove. It's not a butt joint or anything like that or butt seam where you can get, you know, a lot of movement and, and, and sounds and that sort of thing over time. Um, the sidewall on this particular product, folks, is a laminated inch and a half 
uh, same thickness as what you get with a, an Imagine product, which is nice, but this has the aluminum framed, fully bead welded construction within that sidewall, laminated, and then you've got uh, that block foam insulation. So again, very rigid sidewall, very, very strong, uh, which is nice. And uh, again, that laminated wall really helps them get that weight down for, uh, for this segment, which is nice. Um, at the rear of, the, of this trailer, folks, you'll notice the spare tire. Um, speaking of the tires on this particular product, for a lightweight trailer, a small single axle, folks, you have a 15 inch tire. It's not a little tiny 13 inch or 14 inch. It's a radial 15 inch tire. And I mean, look at the clearance on this, on this folks. I'm just gonna get down, I got my gloves on. It's winter time here at the dealership and uh, I just wanna show you this particular product, folks, has fantastic clearance underneath so if you've got to back it up a you know steeper driveway you like to get out into the west country a little bit like you'll see those scissor jacks there they're folded up nice and tight and you've got a ton of clearance on this particular trailer and that's you know part and parcel to do with the fact that they've got that great big 15 inch tire uh, which is really really nice great capacities that sort of thing so there's your rear wall uh, it is pre-wired for the furion backup camera so you can get right in our parts department folks the, uh, the, the rear vision camera just hooks up USB connection, reads Bluetooth or um, wirelessly to the monitor that you had set up in the, uh, the vehicle of, you know, your, the, your tow vehicle. And uh, away you go. You can see, you know, if you wanted to weld a two inch receiver on the back for bikes, you can see your bikes changing lanes on the highway, all of those things which uh, make it real nice. So again, just off the back corner of the trailer here, fantastic look. It's got a real nice modern look to it, real nice graphics. They're really not uh, cheap and out that way, which is good. Now, the roof decking they use, folks, um, super strong. It's actually what they call their alumina tough skin. It's an 040 thickness, so it's the same gauge thickness that they would use on the front of a Grand Design Transcend. Uh, it's abrasion resistant, so if you you know hit it, the tree branch hits it, um, you know it's not going to tear open like a, what you might find with an EPDM rubber. You don't have to worry about chalking and getting those nasty streaks coming down that are really sticky on the outside wall of your trailer. Um, and then what they do is they actually take that roof skin, uh, super lightweight but very very rigid and strong, and they bend it over top of the sidewall. I don't know if you can see it from down here on the ground but they bend it over top of the sidewall and pinch it in behind the rain gutter. So um, any moisture, rain, if you've got snow up on the roof, it's melting, it's gonna run off the roof into the rain gutter and off the trailer, which is really nice. Um, new for the KZ Escape, of course, it's gone through a complete redesign. So if you're looking at a 2020 or even some of the early 2021 models, folks, they won't necessarily have this really rounded profile. It's more of a flat profile, but they have added a really nice looking bonded uh, windshield just similar to what you would have in your vehicle and when you go inside it really helps brighten up the front end of the trailer but create a real nice look uh, single 20 pound propane tank we can upgrade you to dual 20s if you want uh, but they do that purely for you know hitch weight savings so 20,000 BTU furnace on this particular product six gallon DSI hot water heater so flip of a switch that's gonna light rate up for you uh, again, on the entry side of the trailer, folks, I know I'm dancing around here. This is the very first video I shot, so I'm not maybe as smooth as I am on this with, uh, like I am with the Grand Design product, but I'll do my best. So uh, full 14 foot, fully adjustable power awning. So, you know, if you do get that rain starting to fall, you can just pull down on this section of the arm here. You just pull down right here and that'll put a tilt. Uh, right to that roller tube so if you want that moisture running off the awning you can do that or if you want simply just more shade coverage uh, you can do that uh, which is nice and again great big awning like I don't think you could get a bigger awning on this particular trailer which is uh, which is real slick again outdoor kitchen on this model it is covered by the awning which is nice so if you are in that inclement weather you can still you know utilize your outdoor kitchen you're not having to tuck it away uh, you do get the new Suburban uh, grill as well, super slick. You can do your burgers, your hot dogs, any steaks, that sort of thing. It's a beautiful series, same, same uh, outdoor cooking uh, device that you would get in a you know, $120,000 solitude, uh, which is nice. And then they do give you the, the barbecue quick connect right there. It's that little guy right there. So you can hook up your Suburban uh, grill hill, uh, griddle here. Uh, or if, hey, if there's a fire ban and you wanna bring that portable fire pit, 
just plug that in there. You're not having to lug an extra 20 pounder with you. I bring an extra 20 pound, uh, pound tank with me when I go camping just as backup, but uh, you've got that quick connect, which, which is real nice. Outdoor speakers on this, they are mounted just like an Imagine on the outside of the wall of the trailer. They're not cutting a great big hole in the wall. These guys smart, they're running just a little hole for that wire to go through and then that speaker sits on the outside. Plus, it makes it quieter when that speaker is, is playing, which is nice. And your stereo is fully Bluetooth, so you can connect, play your tunes outside, have your fire going, cooking your food, having tons of fun. So, one thing I wanted to show you, sorry, I keep hitting the button here. Um, galvanized steel wheel wells. You'll see that this trailer just showed up. So we've done nothing to this. We haven't PDI'd it. We haven't cleaned it. You are seeing it as it just made its 2000 mile journey here. And I'm telling you folks, this trailer is tight, tight, tight. Uh, again, galvanized steel wheel wells. You'll find with a lot of products, folks, this is where they, they cut out to save on cost. You'll see that Darko woven fabric. So and every bit of that road debris, everything that gets picked up uh, from the ground is pounding. And we've seen that Darko get tore open um, right at your steel, uh, at your wheels uh, because you're throwing gravel and that sort of thing. If you do a lot of gravel travel, those galvanized steel wheel wells are a real nice thing to help protect uh, your trailer from those sorts of things. So alloy wheel, it's not just a steel wheel, so it's got a great look. And then they finish it off with the fender, fender skirt there is real nice so cool little feature you get the leash latch so that leash latch and then it also right through that where that uh, paw footprint is that's actually a bottle opener as well so you can tie the puppies off keep them secure from running off that sort of thing and then you do get the rise above step as well so that folds up inside the trailer it's not hanging underneath so you can imagine the amount of clearance that you get with this particular product it's absolutely fantastic so 26 inch wide entrance door. They give you the lend a hand grab handle for easy and uh, easy entry and exit. Um, the other cool thing, it's a friction hinge door. So this door is under tension, right? So if you open up the door and it's windy, the wind's not gonna grab it and slam it up against the awning arm if the awning's out or up against the wall. Uh, if you got little ones, it's not gonna tear it out of their hands. Uh, and hit them with it. So it's a, it's a far superior uh, hinge on the door, much safer. But what I really like too is they've upgraded their screen door as well. So you'll see it's got the screenshot on it. So one thing that I've noticed, you know, over the years is the latches they use, you know, you don't have to slide open this latch cover in order to uh, unlatch the door when it's closed, the screen when it's closed. So what happens, <clears throat> especially with little ones, first time RVers, you may not be aware of this. Um, the old school way is they've got this latch right here, but not one on the inside. So every time you got to slide this, this cover open, unlock, unlock it, open the door, and then if that screen is left open or this is open, mosquitoes fly in your trailer. With this, having a latch on both sides, you don't have to worry about that. And if the little one's coming out, it's got the screenshot here, which is this puts the screen on tension. You can see it automatically closes on its own. So way better for, you know, preventing, you know, it's a little cold right now, so it's not snapping as shut. We're like minus 20 right now, and I'm doing pretty good. Um, Celsius, by the way, for our, uh, our friends south of the, the Canadian-US border. But yeah, that, that screen will just screenshot closed and uh, help prevent those mosquitoes from getting inside the trailer, which is real nice. Okay, um, here on the uh, outside, great big storage compartment. Monster, monster, your fresh water tanks there nice and easy um, and then you do have access underneath this from inside the trailer underneath your main bed up front so big great big gigantic storage compartment for all your oversized camping gear you know you don't necessarily have to bring a barbecue but you can bring a folding table your chairs your patio mats all the goodies and everything with you so again i can't climb up on the roof of this trailer because there's no ladder folks uh, but you know, I did give that that roof description the other thing on a trailer light that's lightweight like this They're not doing a side mount, you know 5,000 BTU air conditioner you get a 13,500 BTU Coleman mock air conditioner that's the same mock air conditioner that you would get on a solitude folks like KZ is not holding back you know, a lot of the super lightweight products, folks, they'll really cheap out on the, the, the feature content or the components, and they'll literally take up a cabinet inside the trailer to hold an air conditioner. And the little air conditioner, like 5,000 BTUs on a 30 degree Celsius hot day or better, you know, it's really not gonna do the job for you. 
So great big 13.5, uh, 13,500 BTU air conditioner. Uh, again, also the, the scissor jacks, one on each corner, you got four of them. With a lightweight trailer like this, it's a 2,500 pound jack. You can do some, you know, minor leveling with this trailer as well with those, uh, with those scissor jacks, which is, which is cool too. So we're gonna jump up inside. I know I'm probably missing a lot, but hey, you know I like to talk on these videos. So coming inside the trailer, uh, you'll notice right away, nice big dinette. I showed this trailer to some folks yesterday and myself, you know, I'm not a, not a small guy, and two of us grown men were able to slide in very comfortably uh, down the bench seat here as well. And of course, this does make into a bed, um, which is good. And then you do have storage under each of your bench seats here as well. They've gone to a complete uh, update, ash wood interior. So you do have a lighter cabinet cabinet in here, uh, really modern, open up the, you know, the interior design, that sort of thing. Uh, at the back of this trailer, you do have the, um, the bunk beds. They are a very long bunk. You know, I'm five, you know, almost six feet tall with shoes on. And, you know, uh, somebody here, I, I stretch my arms out, you know, six foot two could very easily sleep in these bunk beds. And um, this upper bunk here is rated for 250 pounds. So, you know, a grown, grown man could, uh, could sleep up in this bunk bed if, if you so choose. So underneath your lower bunk here, you do have the, uh, the outdoor kitchen. So really no storage there, but you do get the LED lights all throughout this product, folks. Which is good. Real nice storage here. You do have a coat closet here as well for hanging goodies up. And then they give you a couple of, couple of slots there as well. So again, 20,000 BTU furnace. Fantastic for a little trailer like this. It's going to heat it up in no time. And again, you do get the uh, porcelain foot flush toilet. It's not just a cheap plastic toilet. You get the cor corner shower, real shower pan. You do get the ABS tub surround. That's where a lot of products in the industry, folks, they start taking those things out and you lose the value. You know, it's not just a mirror screwed to the wall. It's an actual vanity here with some shelves inside, giving you that extra storage. Nice big sink storage below. So in here's your tank monitor and to turn on your water pump and your hot water heater and such. So... Uh, again, from the back looking forward. Oh, before I jump on that. So they've got two fridge fridges available on the KZ Escape. The standard fridge is an eight cubic foot gas, sorry, eight cubic foot 12 volt only refrigerator. It's a two door fridge. We're seeing a lot of those come to the industry. I optioned in, I have the choice to option in on a gas absorption fridge still. And that's what I did. You know, I, I really wanted to give people the flexibility of being able to, you know, Make sure that you're not, you know, going through less battery power and that sort of thing. So this is a six cubic foot, um, nor cold. Actually, it might be seven. Uh, gas absorption fridge. So it'll work when you're plugged in as well as off the propane of the trailer as well, which is real nice. Two-door style. Lots of space inside. You'll see. So great big freezer. So, um, again, from the back looking forward here in the 191 BHK, the cool part is that this bed is a residential queen size bed. So it's 60 wide by 80 inches long. If you don't like the mattress, you can upgrade, go to any mattress store. It'll fit the same dimensions. Of course, if it's a taller bit mattress, it'll, it'll go higher. But, um, you know, those mattress pads you might want, if you want to put a memory foam topper on it, uh, they're all fitting queen size uh, dimension beds. So it'll fit perfectly. Your feet aren't going to be hanging off. Your fitted sheets go around a whole lot nicer, which is real good. Um, you do get the storage above, which is good for the, you know, the clothing and that sort of thing. USB connection here in the corner on the wall. So, you know, if you want to plug your cell phones at night, that sort of thing. But even just see how bright and open this trailer is with that front windshield. Great big windows in this product as well. They do the pleated shades. It's not just a metal blind that you see on a lot of products. My hand's starting to get a little bit cold here in this minus, minus 20 degrees Celsius weather here. But, uh, yeah. Beautiful, real open floor space here. The, the vinyl decking they use on this product, folks, is a bow floor. It, is, it does come with a seven-year cold crack warranty. Uh, super durable. When uh, bow floor, Congloli, and those types of products came to market, uh, we really haven't dealt had to deal with uh, the cold cracking that we had to do years ago, or deal with years ago. So um, real nice product that they're finishing it off here. And then, of course, you do have your kitchen up front. Let's grab my paper here. I'm free flowing it here, so what we've got a paper in hand, um, you know, this is just uh, totally unedited, 
and uh, shooting this video. So uh, storage uh, underneath your sink here. So wide open storage, great for pots and pans and that sort of thing. You'll notice there's no actual drawers. You're like, why would I buy a trailer without drawers? Well, they're thinking, they're thinking lightweight. They're thinking flexibility, convenience. Um, you know, drawers are actually quite heavy. If you're putting ball bearing drawer glides in with the plywood construction and all of that, you're adding weight to the trailer. What KZ did behind here, you get four great big tubs, which is real smart. And what I like about this is, let's say you got all your silverware in this tub right here, and you want to take it outside to the picnic table, you just slide it right out. Out it comes, boom, just like that, beautiful. Super lightweight, and, and it's actually a much larger drawer as well than what you typically get uh, in a kitchen, which is nice. So uh, I did option in the bamboo sink cover. You know, it's a cutting board if you'd like. You move it around, great big single basin sink. And uh, they do have the upgraded faucet here as well. Real nice look. Two burner range top. Microwave above. And then you've got your uh, Furion Bluetooth stereo entertainment center, that sort of thing. If you want to add a TV, these don't come with TVs, but if you want to add them, there is a backer location to be able to mount that uh, TV mount in and uh, hang your TV. You can upgrade. You do have an omnidirectional digital TV antenna that comes standard with this trailer, and it's pre-prepped with the uh, King Connect for the pre-wired for Wi-Fi. So if you want to get a Wi-Fi booster, you can do that through the TV antenna. It'll suck in the Wi-Fi signal. If you're visiting relatives, um, you want to bring that Wi-Fi in, uh, you can definitely do those things with this particular product. And you've got your Coleman mock air conditioner. So... Uh, tank capacities on this, folks. You have a 20-gallon fresh water tank, 32-gallon black tank, and 32-gallon gray tank. The other specs we have, I'm just going to shoot up on it here. See that there? My camera's getting a bit cold. Hitch weight, 420 pounds, based on the weight as it came off the assembly line. That's one of the things I like about these guys. They give you the real weights. Unloaded vehicle weight, 3,455 pounds. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful if you've got a 5,000 pound towing uh, capacity vehicle. So you got a family of four, husband, wife, couple of kids, three kids, a guest, you know that dinette goes down into a bed, you got the dual bunks, the full residential queen size bed up front, um, easy to tow, easy to back up, you can take this trailer anywhere and uh, hey, we're the exclusive dealer in the uh, Edmonton, Alberta, Northern Alberta market. Love to invite you down to our dealership. My name's Clayton Phillips. I'm the sales manager here at Woody's RV World Leduc. And this is the very first video we've shot on the Escape, the 191 BHK. And we're gonna continue to shoot more as these, uh, these trailers roll, roll into the dealership. They're slow to come. This has been a long process, waiting, anticipating this exciting product. And we can't wait to uh, invite you down to our dealership and teach you more about it and maybe get you camping in one of these wonderful little, little trailers. So. Again, thank you for your time. Happy camping. Stay safe out in the world. And uh, we wish you all the fulfillment uh, this coming summer with camping. Take care. Bye for now.